five meter pole. Look at that, let me go. Woo! Today, we are going to review this tripod. Wait, no, this is too expensive. I can't afford that. I am instead going to review a new alternative, the YC Onion Pianada Peak, which is right now supporting my very heavy professional A Lenses VR camera. Famous YouTuber states this tripod is outstanding. Well, this unsponsored video will find out if that statement is true by comparing it with the Satchela Flow Tech and using it on an actual VR music video shoot in a very high stress environment. Well, I'm not that short, but the tripod can go high, so I need to stand on a pattern case to level it. We will talk about the good and the bad of this tripod based on real filming experience. So don't buy it yet until you watch this video. The second part of this video, we will talk about my professional VR warranty build using this tripod with the Canon R5C. It is heavy but sturdy setup for fast deployment on a professional pay gig. Time is money on set and you don't want to bring a skinny travel tripod like this one right here on set and to be laughed at by professionals. We will also talk about a probably the best monopole for 360 camera like the install 360 RS one inch here or the CoolCam 3 right here. The Pianada Quick Release Monopod and how you can reach over 5 meters high by combining with the Noto Ninja Travel Pole. Let's go! So one of the biggest selling points of YC Onion right here is it is very fast to deploy it. So let's compare it with also the brand new tripod right here is the small rig. So let's see how fast the deployment between these two left these two tripod right here. So let's start with the small rig. So let's just untie everything right here. Get up. And then second level. I can't reach all two legs together, so let's do one by one. Okay, now it's done. Pretty high. Put it aside. Now let's see how far is the YC onion, right? Done. <laughs> that is how easy to deploy YC onion. Just do it lever, raise up, shake it, put it down. Done. See how fast is it to close it up? So everything close. Open all this lever right here. Drop down. Lock it. Boom. Ready to go. Right, kimchi? Pretty easy. This is actually not that bad. Do that. Untie all six of the Handle, just drop them in. It sometimes got stuck. Yeah, drop them in. Hold it. Oop. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, right? Uh, okay, and, and for the small rate, it actually have some leverage right here, so you can lock it. Uh, kind of like the icy onion uh, quick lock right here. But let me just finish it. Boom. There you go. There's no handle, so you carry it like that. <laughs> okay. So a couple of cool things about the YC Onion here is the locking mechanism. So you put this button right here and just lock it. That's all lock. So you can't extend, you can't accidentally like open it. So it's really good for traveling. It's a heavy tripod, right? So you can grip it like here instead of grip it like here. Uh, but actually I like to grip the handle because this is probably the easier way to grip it. So how to unlock it, you just pop it. And then you just open it up. Then you can push it back in to lock it. It's pretty sturdy. Now 
It's back to normal mode. YC Onion Pianata Peak basically borrows all the good design from Satchelor Flowtech. They both have a detachable carry handle. Both feature one-stop quick-release brakes. Flowtech actually does not have a bubble leveler on the tripod base itself, or at least this model. YC Onion has one which is crucial for level adjustment. Using the quick-release central shaft, like my install to see Titan heavy setup right here. Do be careful, the central shaft setup payload is only 8kg, around 17 pounds, not 35kg, 77 pounds, like the coconut ball head. So don't put your Ari Alexa package on the central shaft using the ball head instead. Here's a quick spec side by side comparison. YC Onion can go lower and reach higher than Flowtech. It can carry a lot heavier payload than Flowtech, 15 kg more, and it is slightly lighter than Flowtech in weight. The biggest advantage is price. YC Onion is significantly lower than Satchelor. For budget sensitive solo creators or filmmakers, YC Onion is definitely a better choice. Let's dive deeper on some unique features of the YC Onion. So beside the coconut head right here, they also come with the center pole right here. And this is actually very important for 360 filmmaking. As you see right here, I put my Titan on top of this pole because this pole can give me a good distance between the leg and the camera itself. So the easiest to stitch out in pole production. So it's actually very easy to replace the coconut head with the center strap right here. First, loosen up right here and then turn right here. Boom, and then the whole ball head can take out and you can put a satchel head right here. It, it's just a standard, but what I'm gonna do is just put it a center strap, center pole right here, put it in, and then there's a button right here. Turn it like so, it's actually this one. Now, as you see, it's locked. It's one giant button, as you see right here, one giant button. And then this one, you untie it, you can go up and down, go up and down. You can go all the way up too. There's a lock right here, but if you turn it, boom. You get the entire strap out, and now you can put it back in here. Boom. Now you can do low angle shot for 2D stuff. Now let's talk about my professional VR one lead setup. So I have my Canon R5C rig on a cage. This is the Falcam F22 cage. Rig it inside on a rail system, which I already did a review right here, why in a rail system. And I put a plate, two screw right here, 3A and 1.4 on the rail. Also, I'll put a battery on the back as a counterweight because you need to power the camera to film in 60 frame in 8K. So, really easy. You pop that in, boom, lock it. Now, one hand on the handle, open all the lever, rise it up in the correct height. Look at the bubbler right here. You can also use a coconut head to level right here, coconut head, untie the lever. And look at the boy, look at, at the bubbler right here. It's level, lock it. If you want to adjust the tilt angle, like so, right? So you can just adjust like so. Now, this is my professional setup right here. And sometimes you just forgot your rail for some reason, you don't want to use a rail system. YC Onions actually allow you to film just on the camera on a tripod. First, like try to move by your camera all the way to the edge of the play. The play, again, you can slide in and out, right? Go all the way, max, where you can go, right there. And then, to, to film it, first, untie the back leg. First, again, like make sure this is a pen head, right? Make sure the camera always points the center point of the two leg, right there. Lock it. And then untie this one, rise it up. Make sure that, kind of, make sure that, right, this two leg, it's like how level with the tripod, straight line, lock it. Because these legs are so good right here, they grip the ground really sturdy. So it's not, say my hand let go, it's not going anywhere. It's still like really solid, right? And now, turn the camera on. Untie it, level it. Boom. Hopefully you see on my screen, the leg is gone. This is my foot, right? The leg is gone. If you need more, just untie it. A little bit more, boom. Again, make sure the hand, but why right now is fun hairy, right? Level it. Fun hairy, so don't let go your, your camera. So put a chai, put a sandbag right here. This is a pretty thick pose, so you definitely put a chai pad right here, or don't let go. But now you are 
kind of in a running gun situation right now, right? So you don't have the, the long rail to just be in your way. You can film it without filming the leg right here because it's level with the camera, but you can just move around like so. Location right here, film it, done. Stop recording, grab the camera, go. Boom. It's a lot more convenient, not more, lot, lot more straightforward, by the way. You don't need to, not, you don't only can level with the, this pen head right here. It's actually a more sturdy way right here. Look at that coconut head. Untie it, boom. That's the max level of the coconut head. So now the coconut head is actually level. It's actually get more weight right here. And level with the pen head right here. Make sure they fully spread the leg. And then also coconut head, it'll be level. So let's make sure that it's level. Yeah, it's level. Boom, no battery. Sorry guys. So now it's level. You don't see the leg on the fish eye and it also correct horizon. So that is my running gun, heavy tripod setup. See, my hand, leg on my hand is not turning forward. So it's pretty sturdy. But again, make sure that you have your hand on a system. We didn't do that on the back leg, so it doesn't tilt forward. But it worked on this tripod for running gun setup for VR 180. Okay, now let's talk about the thing that I don't like about this tripod. Why? It's not like I don't like about it, it just, you know, Kind of weird you, you do pay what you get so some of the design problem uh, that is unavoidable first thing is the coconut head i do love it because it allow me to support like 77 pound up to 77 pound heavy camera package uh, for my cinema camera but if you like untie that let's say like put the coconut head like right here and then lock it and then you try to close the tripod you see that right here the coconut, the bottom of the coconut head kind of blocked the, this leg. You can't really close anymore. It's, it's, it's kind of weird, right? You have to untie that, level your coconut head, like make sure it's level, and now you can tie it and, and move the camera around. So that is one weird thing about this setup. Second thing is, let me show you. So uh, I want to pretty fast go up, lock it. So now the leg is fully extended right, to put it on the ground. Look at that. Look at that. It's very shaky. It's not sturdy at all. So the solution for that is after I rise it up to the max, I usually do that. Kick it, kick it out, kick it out like so. Now it's very sturdy. Like it's not going anywhere. It's not, see, it's not shaking anymore. It's not shaking anymore. So yeah, just make sure that when you like fully extend the tripod, like in that height, make sure you kick the tripod out so you'll be more sturdy. And this is actually a very important tip. And other thing about, let me bring the tripod a little bit closer. Hopefully you see it. So you see the leverage right here and right here. If you accidentally, like sometimes you just like move really fast, right? You put your finger right here. You smack that, you, your finger will cut between this lever and right here and then hurt your fingers. So just be careful, like don't go too fast. And this is all connection joint. So some, it's all metal, like you can really hurt yourself or hurt your AC if you just like smack that and just like move the tripod. But just be very mindful, like this is st still a small setup. So it's just a lot of moving part and you might hurt yourself if you go too fast. This is sell separately. This is a quick release system that I can pop this thing out and then I can grab another product this is the Pianada monopod right here. And I have a quick release head right here. So I gotta pop this thing in. Boom! Now I am on a monopod quick release system and then I can continue filming. Running gun situation. And when I'm done, pop this, put it on a tripod, safer, not going anywhere. So this is the other cool thing about this thing. But let me talk about this thing right now. So this is really cool. This whole thing is a quick release system. Like boom, boom. And the leg, oops, drop this. <laughs> the leg can also come out. So it's a three part. So I can travel around with all this thing. And then when I'm ready to shoot, I just, boom, one part, second part, Right here, upside down. And the third part is my VR camera. What I have here is the brand new Cool Cam 3. Uh, one thing about this thing, hopefully you see it right here. It have like 
see, I have a 3A, but I also have 1-4 high inside it. So I can put in the 1-4 of the cool cam right here. And then I will just, boom, quick release. If it's, if you want facing light, maybe that way, boom, not going anywhere. Really dope, right? So if you want to go high, it's the cool part. Hit this right here, unlock, boom, boom. Put it down. Voila! This is a two meter pole right here. So you can do like, you can let go of your hand right now. It's pretty sturdy because the really thick pole is not going anywhere. It's really thick, right? So you can do time lapse, like 360 video. Uh, very important to have a sturdy system if you film 360 video, especially for 360 time lapse. So this is a great system to do exactly that. Well, just like every product, there's no profit product. There is a problem. So the leg right here is actually connect with a ball head. So you can actually like go all around. It's great for 2D filmmaking, but for VR, you want to be perfectly level because you go high if it's on this angle, the whole thing to fall down, right? So I actually would not recommend using their original leg. Luckily, you can just take it out. And then, by the way, you gotta take out top part. This now become a, you know, invisible selfie stick right here. I put this part down first, put the camera down first. So itself, this is a really thick, sturdy carbon fiber monopole. And right here, you see right here, I'm showing this camera as well, right here, is a 3A screw right here with the metal round housing around it. So I can grab right here. This is my also very expensive Bushman monopole for my Titan camera. But I take the pole out. I'll just grab the base. The, the, this base is the bamboo base right here. Have the really big leg, okay, extend that. On top is a 15 pound weight, just like a sandbag, but instead of a sandbag, it's a metal weight. And here is 3A. So put it down on the ground. Let me just step back so you can see it. Put it down on the ground. Put the tripod out of the way. It's heavy. And then right here, I can just thread the 3 end in. Boom. Now this is super sturdy. See, it's not going anywhere. Now I'll put the camera back on. Cool cam's back on. And then, boom. See, it's not going anywhere. You someone can hit it, it's not gonna budge. So that is my setup with the weight, with the giant leg, and, and with the two meter pole right here. I can actually rise up, I can get even more than two meters as well. And that's how I do a very sturdy 360 shot time lapse with this travel system. And it's very easy. Maybe not with the weight, you don't need the weight when you travel, but that is a very sturdy system and then you can go anywhere with it. And that is what I recommend for 360 filmmaking. You can buy the fruit head and the tripod separately. Uh, the fruit head is also pretty great. Standard is not like as good as Satchelor, it's, it's not as good as Satchelor. So it, by the way, the Satchelor for your head fit right into this system. So, so you can use an expensive Satchelor head, but buy an extra leg right here uh, to replace it with a Satchelor leg. So it's a great money value add, right? Uh, but just the head itself, it's pretty standard head, right? Uh, if a quick release right here, you can see you have a button right here. You push it, let go of the camera. Uh, but if you don't push it, the camera will lock it even if you're untying the knob right here. But if you just, boom. Pock in, lock it. That. Now we have a regular pen head system. Uh, pretty standard. One cool thing about it is it hide a little, you see right here, but this is not the original plate. This is actually my small rig plate. The original plate doesn't have a iron wrench right here. This is a small rig feature. Uh, but on the base plate it does have a iron wrench right here. Allow me to basically do that, right? The camera right here is Hopefully you see it. It's a 3A, so 3A, 3A, tight this into the camera. And then you can put this in, lock it. And then you can hide your Allen wrench right here. It's a magnetic right here. So it's very convenient. All the tool is built inside the system right here. Uh, one thing I don't like about the original play though, is like, if you look at small rig play right here, 
Over you see on camera, but don't see on camera, you probably see my go to. Uh, this is a nice school hole right here. Let me hide the 3A school. Uh, it's 3A uh, school right here, the four, uh, and maybe two, one, four right here. So we have like four set of school as a backup. Uh, we don't have any of here. Here, let me show you. Is there any play to make me high school? So two school have to school in the play. Uh, so if I lost one, I lost one. I just don't have it. So this is one of the drawbacks. Both the small rate and the YC onion is comparable with the DJI RS2 and RS3 right here. It's just a button right here. You can swap between regular play, standard play, or if you have the uh, quick release from the DJI RS2, you can just use that, go straight into the tripod. So it's very convenient. As you see right here on both sides, at least on two sides, this side is handle. We have the RE security lock 1.4 screw right here. So 1.4 and 3A, so you can attach accessory I will just did right there, attach my monitor right here to extend the whole system, build it even bigger. Thank you for watching this hands-on review of the brand new YC Onion Pianada Peak Tripod right here and the Pianada Monopod system right here. I am gonna bring this whole system to Rome because I gotta have a talk in Rome. So if you're in Europe, you wanna see me in person, I do put the setup link down below. So go sign up and go meet me in person. If you wanna collab, hit me up on Instagram. Oh yeah, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please follow me on Instagram, DM me there. If you have any question, I will answer it mostly faster on Instagram than on YouTube. Uh, again, if you're new here, uh, you found this valuable and help you save some money, buy or not buy this system, uh, do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. It helped me a lot if you subscribe and give this video a thumb up. So until next time, I will see you virtually or I will see you in person in Rome or Meta Connect. Ciao.